double stops on your cello, something I touched upon very briefly in an ear training session regarding the major thirds and perfect fourths and fifth. And though it is a very left-hand technique oriented lesson, one thing I sort of grazed on is the fact that a double stop technique with the bow is essential to learning how to listen to intervals on your cello. And so in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can play a double stop by using some tools from the kitchen. I have here a cutting board, a chef knife, and a bread knife. You will need these tools in order for you to follow along with this lesson. And of course, you're also going to need yourself some bread. And so I've taken here a real true baguette here in France, and I'm, we're going to learn how cutting bread is going to help you play a double stop on the cello. So for the purpose of this beginning of the lesson, we're going to take the bread knife away and use the chef knife. Very sharp. I would not want to run my fingers along this because it's quite sharp. And take your bread and I want you to slice the bread as you will. Different ways people do, they sort of push down like this, which sort of crushes it. And if it's softer, it wouldn't do very good. Some people also do this a lot right here. And it's violent and makes a lot of movement, of course. And that's probably not something pleasant. So a chef knife is not the pre actually the good way of slicing bread. That's why we have bread knives. Now look at the difference. The bread knife is much longer. It has got a soft serrated blade. And the reason for this is because it's not the pressure that cuts the bread. And it's not the quick back and forth movement that cuts the bread the most efficient. No, what cuts bread best is when you place the knife like this and just by holding it in full contact with the bread, you draw the knife across. And I'm using no pressure and I'm going to push back the same way, keep it in contact. If you notice, I'm actually in a bow hold and I'm going to push this direction and then back like this. And yes, the bread represents your strings. So if you want to maybe go, you know, and I'm going to turn it around like this so you can see that better. Again, here I am, no pressure, just present, just flat and keeping the nice serrated blade in contact and drawing across. And I'm not really putting any pressure. I'm just using, letting the length of the bow make the cut. Length of the knife make the cut, excuse me. Perfect, clean, and that's how you do it. But it's also more apparent with soft bread right here. Here I have a very soft loaf of bread and it's more apparent with this. If you try to cut it, see it, I'm destroying it and I'm pinching it. You don't want to do that. You want to be able to take your knife as you have done before and slice gently across and there's no pressure that's happening there and it creates a perfect slice. I'm going to do it once more so you see that and it also cuts through the side of, of when you have right here, you have some covering. So here I go, nice and flat, bow hold in place, and I'm going to guide the bow across as if I'm playing strings. Once more, no pressure. The weight the, and the length creates the cut, and that creates a perfect, messy, free cut. And this is how you should bow on your cello. Once more, very soft loaf right here, drawing, placing it flat, and then pulling to the right. The length and the blade creates the slice. And there you have it. Messy free and even the wax paper slice with it as well. Now, Let's do this on our cello. Side by side, we have the bow and the bread knife. Again, we create sound with the bow by moving back and forth, just like the bread knife. It takes the length and also the weight of the blade to slice gently through the bread. And here we have the length 
of the bow and the weight of the baguette. Yes, this piece here is called le baguette. And the serrated blade is now been replaced with the hair and moreover the rosin, the colophon. So same thing, just like at the bread knife, I'm placing it here. I'm going to draw across, just keeping in contact, having the knife nice and flat to, excuse me, having the bow nice and flat to terra firma and allowing the weight of the bow to create the sound on two strings. And then back again, keeping in contact with two strings and allowing the movement and the weight to slice through and really excite those strings and create the sound we're looking for. And that's a quick introduction on how to play double stop on your cello, inspired by bread knives and bread. Gesh, it's good. Thank you for watching my video today here on my YouTube channel. You can check me out on TikTok. I make other videos there as well. If YouTube isn't your thing, please like, share, and subscribe. And the best thing you can do for me to tell YouTube I'm doing a good job is to subscribe. So please subscribe and turn on notifications. And I hope that you enjoy playing cello as much as I do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.